Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. As you can see here, one, two, three, four aces. One, two, three, and four. Right, now in these aces, I actually made a prediction. I did. One of these aces is not like the other. One of these aces is not the same. Your job to find which ace it is. And what do you mean they're all different? Because it's a club, a heart, a spade, and a diamond. Well, obviously. I'm talking about the bat now, come on, be silly. No, be serious. Stop being silly even. I'm talking about the colours on the backs. Three of them are from one packy and one is from another packy. Right? Your job, find the one from the other packy. Right? So we've got the club, the heart, the spade and the diamond. Which one do you think is from a different packy? You think the spade? You sure? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's find out. Well, there's one card definitely from a different packet. And it's the spade. Got it right, didn't I? I know what you're saying, everybody picks the spade because it's the most popular one. And I'll tell you what. Let's go for the diamonds. Just wave my hand over the top of them. And we find the card from a different packet this time is the diamond. Ah, you didn't see that one coming, did you? Right. All right. Let's go for a different one. Let's go for the heart. Do you reckon? Should we go for the heart? Okay. Go through it now. And we find the card from a different packet is the heart. Good or what? You didn't see nothing there, did you? You didn't see any smoke or nothing. No, my hands didn't disappear. No, nobody slid the card in. No, cool. Right, we've done it with the diamond, we've done it with the spade, we've just done it with the heart. Leaves us with the spade. No, it's not, it's a club. I could do with one of them for hitting myself on the head with. Right, so, we've got the club. And again, there's one card from a different packet. You guessed it, it's the club. I don't know what you're thinking, they changed colour part the way through, didn't they? Because we started off with one colour. And ended up with a completely different colour. Well, if that's confused you, how do you think I feel? I mean, sometimes these cards are from a blue car, a blue deck. Then other times, these cards are from a red deck. I can't work it out. I can't work it out. What colour would you rather them be? Red or blue? You'd rather them be red? Well, do you know what? I'm an Evertonian, so I don't really like red. But I'll let you have them too, and I'll have these too, because I want to try and do something where you end up with the red ones. And I end up with the blue ones. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Right, as you can see, two reds. Two blues on the aces. A red and a black, a red and a black. Red and a black red, a red and a black blue. Right? Put them so that the two reds and the two blues are together. And when you put the cards together, they're interlaced. Red, black, red, black. There's your setup. Dead easy. Don't show the backs of the cards at the start. That's a big no no. Tell them that you pick three cards from one pack and one card from a different pack and their job is to try and find the card which is from the opposite packet. Don't mention any colours. That's all you're saying. Cards from different packets. Um, whichever one they say. Let's say, if they say the, the spade, you leave everything the way it is. You just close up and turn over. If they say the diamond, just move the diamond to the top. If they say the club, Move them two bottom cards to the top. If they say the heart, just reverse the order. And all the time, you will keep your two reds and your two blues together. And you'll keep them red, black, red, black. Right, so whichever one they say, say they say the club. You move the club to the top, turn it over, and then just do an Elmsley count. One, two, three. And I'll jog 
the different coloured cards. Again, I say that's the one from the different pack because it's got a different colour. Don't mention the red or the blue. Put that to the top. They go, I set that up earlier or whatever you want to say. And they'll say, well, do you know, what, what would have happened if you would have picked a different card? Well, let's see. Say you would have picked the diamonds. And it doesn't matter which way you do this. But now you do the two reds first or you mix them up. What if you said the ace of diamonds? Again, move it to the bottom. Turn over. Do another Elmsley count. To show that one card's come from a different deck. Turn these face up again. Show it was the ace of diamonds and put it on the top. What one do you want to try now? Well, you just done the club. I think you just done the diamond, or was it the heart? Anyway, so they say the spade, just reverse the order of the top two cards, turn over again, just do another Elm's recount. I showed that the spades changed colour. Then they say it's the heart, say the heart hasn't been done, but just get that to the bottom, turn over again. The colour, the backs have changed colour, but don't mention anything about it, let them pick up on. The pack changing colour all the time. All you're looking for is a card from a different colour, with a different colour on. You put that to the top. When you get to that position, what you really need to do is have them um, with the red card on the bottom and second to top. So you'd have to reverse the order of the top two cards and the bottom two cards. So you get it set up like that. But then you can say, you know, sometimes these cards play tricks and they change colours as I'm doing a trick. Then all you do is just turn over the top card. Best way of doing it is push over from the top corner and flip it over to show it's red. Push again from that top corner, flip it over. Now you're going to do a three card push. That's why I say push from there because all you've got to do is put a bit of extra pressure on and slide. And you're sliding all three cards off as one. Because when you do it with the top one, you're showing a red card. You'd I mean, be pretty quick with your flips. And then again, you're showing a red card. So you're showing a red, a red back on the Ace of Clubs. And when you do it again, do you still think it's the Ace of Clubs with a blue back? Then you just do that little convincer. We, it's like a frustration count. If you'd rather do a frustration count like that, you can do that. But if you want to do it the way I've done it, all you're doing is just showing the back of the cards to them, turning it down, sliding the top card off in this hand, putting it down as you show the backs again, slide the top card off in the opposite hand and put it down as you're showing the backs again. And again. So basically, whatever hand is actually holding the packet when you do it, oops, that's the hand that keeps hold of the top card putting it down as you're turning the next one around so they've just seen four blue cards and then four red cards and you remember that the blue cards are then up on the bottom your red cards are on the top and you ask them what colours they prefer it to be the red or the blue and whichever one they say you give them the colour they've said so if they say the blue ones go well, all right you can have the blue ones i'll have you can have the blue ones and i'll have these yeah, you can have them two and I'll have these two and we make your two blue and we make my two red and there we go I hope that was clear enough for you give it a bit of practice give it a good bit of practice and it is, it is a belter of a trick it is, believe me I'll see you again soon anyway be good